hey, Melanie, so I'm looking at the work. I was looking for a JPEG or a PDF so I can get in here and zoom in to take a closer look, but there isn't one. So I'll have to do this scrolling and there's a just, I'm just not, I, I'm not really seeing a detail. I can't really tell what this, oh, actually I, I am seeing it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, hey, I've got the, the rolled oats recipe open right here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So you've got the introductory scene. That's pretty cool. All right, then you have one oats, one cup. Yep, perfect. Then two cups of water, milk, or both. So you can't use the word or, you can't use the word cup. Oh, by the way, you can't use the word oats, you can't use the word one cup. No words in this at all, okay? So we gotta figure out a way to depict oats without adding oats, okay? You have to uh, depict a, a cup, measuring cup, without saying, without uh, the words. Okay, so then we have water and milk, so, so you're saying one cup water, one cup of milk. How, how could we depict a combination of both? So think about that. Think about how you're gonna come, uh, depict a combination of both here. Then you have bring to a simmer, stirring frequently. Um, so we have this here, you're stirring frequently, but this looks like it's in a, a, a serving. And this doesn't really look like it's on the heat. So what you would wanna do is show the stirring um, it says seven minutes here. It can't use words. Oh, you can't use um, numbers in your um, timeline either. So seven minutes, but it doesn't say anything about seven minutes here. It just says bring to a simmer, stirring frequently. What we are missing here is th showing that this is actually on the heat and showing a heat that would be um, depicting a simmer. So that would be a medium or a low heat, right? So we need to depict that. Maybe a little a temperature gauge or something, a thermometer, something to indicate the heat. So maybe a, a low, medium, high and have it set on low. But we need to depict the heat here. Otherwise, the viewer doesn't know whether to boil this for seven minutes. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, then once it cools down, we can add um, other things. Now it says salt, salt, butter, and honey. So again, you're using words here, can't do that. Um, so then we have, so you add your other goodies, your, you add your other flavorings, okay, and then simmer for another 10 minutes. So again, we need to depict simmer there, and we can't use 10 minutes, you can't, and no words, remember. Okay, then you put it in a bowl, bowl, add your goodies and enjoy. So that's good, I think that, so think about that. Think about uh, uh, the way that a viewer would look at that. And I think, and, and the way the viewer, I think a good way to approach this is think about how a viewer might misunderstand this and do something to the contrary. So, and that's how I was critiquing this. That's how I'm going through each of these critiquing this, thinking how I can potentially screw this up, um, this recipe based on what I'm seeing. And I think right here in, in this area right here, um, Definitely, we don't know if it's if we can use a combination. And then here, there's no indication of what heat to use. Okay, and then you have to say 10 to 20 minutes here, uh, or whatever the, the time frame is, without listing it verbally or uh, textually. Okay, so uh, think about it, keep working. And um, if you want to uh, submit again, that, that's fine. But just take those comments and, um, and again, take a look at the, the recipe next to your visual depiction just to make sure that everything's accurate and don't be afraid to show this to somebody get another set of eyes on this i think it would be a really good idea now as a designer i always i always get somebody to look at the work um always i mean i and you've heard me tell this story a couple of times in class i mean i used to use my neighbor's kids uh to critique my work i mean anybody any any set of eyes is going to work um Two sets of eyes is better than one, as they say, and it is definitely true in this case. So, all right, great start, Melanie. Thanks for sharing. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. All right, thanks very much.